Hi everybody, this is John Andrade, aka Recluse, and I'm here to give you a quick tour of my ESXi hypervisor. I'm doing some upgrades on it this weekend. Uh, we're going to get ready to transition from Windows Home Server 2011, which I've been running for quite a while. We're going to move over to Server 2012 R2 Essentials. Um, I was originally going to move over to Unraid and go with just a dedicated kind of NAS. Um, but after do giving it some more thought, I've decided on 2012 R2. Uh, the reason being primarily is because I want to stay with Cove Cube's stable bit drive pool um, for my storage. And the reason for that is because I think they do a fantastic job when it comes to drive pooling. Um, biggest thing for me is that if the drive goes bad, all the drives are basically formatted in NTFS, so I don't have to worry about any sort of uh, you know RAID configurations. You know, if two drives go bad, I can still get at the remaining data without having too much difficulty. So at the moment, we have Windows Home Server 2011 running as a virtual machine, and I'm passing through to it this um, RAID card, but I'm not running it in RAID, I'm just doing JBOD. Um, but I'm passing it through and it's linking to four of the six hard drives that you see here. Uh, and that's what I'm using for my drive pool. Now we're gonna be switching that over to 2012 R2 Essentials and we just installed a two port SAS card you know, which is going to give us six, gig six gigabits per second speeds through that. Um, we have our SAS cable over here. So initially we'll just be getting rid of the existing RAID card and then passing through this LSI SAS card to our server 2012 installation. Now what's also nice about that is that the movement of drive pool from Windows Home Server 2011 to 2012 R2 is pretty seamless. It's just going to be a matter of moving the software um, and reactivating it. The drive pool should be automatically recognized by the system. Um, so it should go pretty smooth. Now in addition to that, we're going to be adding another solid state drive to the drive pool, which we're going to use for basically the equivalent of caching. Um, and then we also installed today, you can kind of see it right down here, Corsair 250 gig M.2 card. That's what we're going to be installing server on. So in the beginning we'll have Server installed in the 250 gig M2 will have a 250 gig SSD for caching and then we'll have our four current 3.5 inch drives for our storage pool with the ability to add four more um, with another connection to that SAS card. Also today we installed a USB 3 card. This has got four USB 3 ports on it. All of them are have their own chipset. This is made by Vanco, or excuse me, Vantec. And we're going to be using that to do some USB pass through to a virtual machine that we have strictly for, you know, basically data recovery from hard drives, diagnostics, testing, so on and so forth. So you can kind of see the back of the machine here. We have the IO that came with the motherboard. The very top slot here we have uh, um, an old uh, 8500 GT NVIDIA card uh, which will probably also be passing through to our, our diagnostics VM. We have an Intel quad port gigabit network card. Uh, that's the back of the current RAID card that you see there. Below that we have a Mellanox ConnectX2 10 gig networking card. Um, at the moment I have a SFP to RJ45 adapter in there because I don't have the SFP cable yet 
to tie this into the switch. So for the now, for the time being, we're connecting with CAT6 to that. And you see our USB card, and at the below that, you can see the back plate for the SAS card, and at the very bottom there, we have just a switch to turn on some lighting inside the case. Um, one other thing that we have here is in the front, you can kind of see we have our fan controller up top, and then below that we have an IC dock, 6 bay, 2.5 inch drive case. Um, I won this at the home server show meetup last year. Shout out to David McCabe and Jim Collison from the home server show. This guy is getting a ton of use right now. We have five uh, 2.5 inch drives in there at the moment, four of which are SSDs uh, running various virtual machines. So I think that basically covers everything for today. You know, this machine is a, we've got a Core i7 processor with 64 gigs of RAM. As you can see, it's an X99. Uh, it's actually an ASRock X99WS-E motherboard if anybody's interested. Um, you can see right there under the CPU, we have a little SanDisk uh, Cruiser USB. That's what ESXi is actually running on. Really slick setup they have that, you know, USB, it's not really a header, but that USB uh, slot right on the motherboard. Real convenient if you're running ESXi. Tons of SATA ports. Um, you can't really see it too well, but if you are going to install an M.2 card into this board, you need to have a short PCI card or put the PCI card in after the fact because in my case this USB card is actually blocking the screw for the M.2. Alright, so this is my uh, hypervisor. This has been a project of mine for a little bit over a year now thanks to uh, Serve the Home website and thanks to Paul Brayron from Tinkertry.com these guys got me real excited about playing with this technology and I love this machine. I just can't say enough about how well not only does it run with the SXI, but you know, just the power that you have to create machines on the fly is just amazing. So that's it for now. Um, talk to you guys soon.